Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This time, we're gonna show you one of our favorite things to do, the jigsaw puzzle. Jigsaw puzzle doesn't only keep your brain sharpened, but it also adds up as a decoration to your home. So after we show you how to make one of our favorite puzzles, we will show you how to frame it. So where did I learn the jigsaw puzzle? It all started from my foster mom. Sometimes she lost track of time. We didn't notice it was already 1 o'clock in the morning. And then when she left, my husband got crazy on it too. So we're going to show you some of our favorite puzzles and we are going to start. So guys, these are just some of our favorite puzzles. We already done framing this one, the James Dean, Marilyn Monroe, and this one. Okay, but this time I'm just gonna do a 300 pieces so it's easy to put on, put together, okay? But my challenge for this year, for this month or next month, is this 2,000 pieces. As you can see, it's not open yet. It's still on plastic. You can still see the prize in it. I bought this in uh, Toy Kingdom. Am I right? Yes, Toy Kingdom. And it's 2,000 pieces. Gosh, what a challenge. Anyway, so we better start now. So again, this jigsaw puzzle is only 300 pieces. Now this picture is called The Wedding Day by Charlotte Sternberg. Can you see that over there? Beautiful. In the days gone by when you open a jigsaw puzzle box and inside were just the pieces. But Japanese puzzle comes with various extra bits and pieces like this Apollo Shots jigsaw puzzle. Inside were instruction leaflets, glue, glue spreader, card for lost piece and of course the puzzle pieces it's like in this instruction it says do the edges first and then the rest will show you how to glue the puzzle and frame it so this card is for replacement piece if you lost one so keep this until you have done the puzzle this sachet contains puzzle glue and spreader the only thing is it's gone hard That yellow paper right there is a voucher towards free puzzle. As the instruction says to do the edges first, but we can put the bits together in any order we like. Guys, pick the good quality puzzles. Good quality means the image on the pieces aren't grainy and won't peel off the tops of the pieces. The cardboard of the pieces should be durable enough not to rip at the sides, like this one. See the edges? It's all coming off, not clean cut. Then segregating the edges of the puzzles on my half size illustration board. You can see it's already worn out from assembling our previous puzzles. Now I'm gonna transfer this first in a tray so I have space to work on start the edge. So this one first right here. This green one. Guys, if you will search in the internet, jigsaw puzzles are good for your brain. Solving puzzles help reinforce existing connections between our brain cells. It also increases the generation of new relationships. This, in turn, improves mental speed and thought processes. Jigsaw puzzles are especially good for improving short-term memory.
My favorite brand is Raven's Burger, a company that has been making high quality premium jigsaw puzzles for 134 years, recently partnered with Target to offer a new line of 500 and 1000 piece puzzles because anyone and everyone can benefit from puzzling. Just a hint, start with 500 piece puzzle. They're designed to strike the perfect balance of challenge and solvability. So other benefits of jigsaw puzzle is, it's exercise the left and right sides of your brain at once. Jigsaw puzzles improve your visual spatial reasoning. It means when you do a jigsaw puzzle, you need to look at individual pieces and figure out where they'll fit into the big picture. If you do it regularly, you'll improve visual spatial reasoning, which helps with driving a car, packing, using a map, learning and following dance moves and a whole host of other things. More benefits are great meditation tool and stress reliever. It's a great way to connect with your family. And you'll live longer better if you puzzle regularly. So when did the jigsaw puzzle started? The origins of jigsaw puzzles go back in the 1760s when European map makers pasted maps onto wood and cut them into small pieces. John Spilsbury, an engraver and map maker, is credited with inventing the first jigsaw puzzle in 1767. The dissected map has been a successful educational toy ever since. Why is it called jigsaw puzzles? The term jigsaw comes from the special saw called a jigsaw that was used to cut the puzzles, but not until the saw was invented in the 1880s. So what do you call a person who does jigsaw puzzles? The definition of dissectologist is a person who enjoys jigsaw puzzle assembly. Jigsaw puzzles prior to and during the 19th century were called dissected maps and also known as dissected puzzles. Look guys, I'm nearly done. This is the part that I always save for last because it's hard when the pieces have nearly the same color like the sky, the road, the ocean, etc. I'm done assembling. Now we can start gluing, the satisfying portion. So what I did with my illustration board, I wrapped it up with garbage plastic bag and tightened it up at the back with packing tape. I got gloves as well just in case my hand gets sticky and the Elmer's glue that we're gonna use and my spreader. Estimate pouring out the glue. Not a lot so your assembled puzzle will not curl up when it's dried up. Spread it evenly, especially the edges so when it's dried up it won't crack. And then let it dry for two hours or more if you like. It depends on the size of your puzzle. Cut the excess glue that dried up on the side so it looks clean. And then prepare your board that you're gonna stick your puzzled, assembled puzzle on. Measure it up so it's balance or proportion. Okay, remove your board and turn your assembled puzzle upside down. Start pouring out the glue again and spread it evenly so you can stick it back on the board. This is really satisfying. When you're done, lift up your assembled puzzle and wipe off the excess glue. And then turn your illustration board upside down. 
that you can flat your board there. And stick your assembled puzzle slowly. Put it on the line where you mark it and wipe off the excess glue again. I turn it upside down so I can put the heavy things on top of it so it's really flat when it gets dry. I left it overnight but you can uh, just leave it for four hours or five. It depends on the size. I'm done. Now all I need to do is frame it. By the way, I got that picture frame from Japan Surplus. They have loads of selections. Here it is! Just goes with the rest of our things. We like all the worldy. So I'm gonna show you the, uh, the other puzzles that we already done. Like this Days Gone By by Trevor Mitchell. It's from my foster mom from England. And downstairs we have done two pictures as well. Which is Marilyn Monroe from her movie The Asphalt Jungle. And on the other side is James Dean from his movie South Wind. Gorgeous. Anyway, thank you for watching guys. Consider subscribing. This give this a thumbs up.